Hi everyone, so my name is James and I am here to talk to you about probably the most fundamental branch of mathematics, the branch of set theory. So I'm really excited to talk to you about this. So in this video, I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about myself and I'm gonna explain to you why basically anyone who is studying STEM would really benefit from learning the basics of set theory for their future education and their careers. So if you're studying for an exam or you've got a homework assignment, or maybe you just wanna brush up on some skills, sit back, relax, grab a cup of coffee or something, and we are gonna go through this journey together and make it as drama free as possible. So first, I wanna tell you a little bit about me. So I live here in the beautiful city of Sydney, Australia. I'm a huge maths, language and computer nerd and as crazy as it might seem, I actually find these topics really interesting and really beautiful. So anyone who knows me knows that I absolutely love teaching and I love connecting with students from all around the world. So please drop a comment. Tell me where you are watching me from. I'm a big traveler and I'll probably hit you up for travel tips. So what is the point of learning set theory? You know, besides an excuse to hang out with me. Well, the key reason to learn set theory is that these concepts in set theory are used to define more complicated concepts in other branches of mathematics. So we find set theory all over the place when we look at other branches of mathematics. For example, probability theory or logic or number theory or modern algebra, things like rings, groups or fields, things like networks and graphs. We also find it in areas of applied mathematics. So things like computer science, linguistics, experimental design, philosophy, all these different areas use notions of set theory and that's why it's really important to get a handle on them if you are interested in studying any of those topics. So for example, if you've ever done any kind of computer science, you will know that one of the most basic abstract data types is the set. And in all different kinds of programming languages, you see sets all over the place, including subtypes of sets, things like hash sets, sorted sets, ordered sets, frozen sets, multi-sets. So all of these data types in software engineering are based on the fundamental notion of set. And think about it, why would set theory be the most fundamental branch of mathematics? Wouldn't counting be the most fundamental branch? What did you learn in kindergarten? You learned how to count, right? You learned, okay, one, two, three bananas, or one, two, three fingers, one, two, three clouds. Well, I'm gonna make the argument that sets are even more important than counting. If you're counting one, two, three bananas, you need to know what a banana is. You need to be able to distinguish bananas from fingers, from clouds, because sets are fundamentally the mathematics of dividing things up into categories. And honestly, since we were living in caves back in the day, it's been super important to divide things up into categories. Because think about it, we needed to know, okay, this is my set of fish. This is your set of fish. I'm not gonna eat your set of fish. You're not gonna eat my set of fish. So the act of dividing things up and putting things into sets is just one of the most fundamental notions in all of human behavior. And when we get further into set theory, we're going to start to see how we can use it to define other concepts in mathematics. So things like social networks, things like logic, things like infinities. So that's my pitch. That's my argument for why set theory is so important. And in this playlist, I am going to start from the very beginning. So I'm gonna take you from being a little baby set theorist all the way to being a set theory superstar. So thank you so much for joining me on this journey. I think it'll be a lot of fun. So what I want you to do is leave a comment and tell me why you are interested in set theory. Are you taking a class? Are you studying for an exam? Are you brushing up on some skills? Let me know and I'm gonna try and make my videos as helpful as possible for you. Whatever the reason is, I'm glad you're here. This journey together is gonna to be really interesting. It's gonna be really compelling and I think you're gonna have a good time. So thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much for hitting like, hitting subscribe and helping support the channel. In the next video, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to introduce these basic pieces of notation. And I'm gonna point out 
maybe the most common errors that students make when they're trying to write these things down. And I'm gonna look at a few example problems that you might get in an exam or in a homework assignment. So click this video and learn more about it. And until then, thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye bye everybody.